Thanks for coming. Well, thanks for having me. Are really. you worried about the squirrel at all? Is this anything that concerns you? <laughs> I'll tell you, I really am. <laughs> and also, because my dad traps squirrels in his yard, <laughs> and now he's got a buddy. He just keeps calling them buddy, and I'm like, oh my God. They trap squirrels, put them in their car, take them to a park and release them. And I'm like, that's a bad old man thing to do. Yeah. And he's like, no, 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 it's not, it's not. They're ripping up my roof. They're ripping up my roof line. I'm like, at 40, 50, 60, maybe even 70, were you trapping squirrels? Right. And he's like, not the point. They're ripping up my roof. I'm like, stop trapping squirrels. So now, <laughs> he's gonna get what's coming to him. Right? <laughs> Mark yeah. my word, Mike McCarthy. You gotta make sure that coming. container is secure. <laughs> and I used to joke, I'm like, one of them's gonna get loose in the car, Dad. Oh, wow, yeah. And then you're gonna, you're gonna have to answer some questions. Can I tell you something? I know it's just a squirrel, but if I was driving a car and a squirrel got loose in the car, I'd, if there was a bridge, I'd drive off of it. If there was a mountain, no. I'd go over the It'd side. It'd be like every 70s show where there's just suddenly a, cl a car going <laughs> right. off the road. Like, <laughs> There's no like, oh no, I guess I'll have to deal with this when I stop. I'd be like, <laughs> My wife and I went to Africa once and we I read before we went that <laughs> oh, the no. monkeys will get will uh, will like get into your car no matter what. So you can't leave any kind of like the window down even a little bit because they they'll like, stick <laughs> their <laughs> monkey things in there and and I was so terrified of this that I packed a baseball bat to carry in the car. <laughs> With me in case the monkeys, Four monkeys, in case the monkeys attack. Yeah, that's right. And I was mocked for this. Do you do you want my dad's number? <laughs> <laughs> right? I am your dad. I'm just 30 years behind. You're, oh, <laughs> Maybe 20 by, years by behind. By like 80 something, you're gonna be nuts. Oh, forget about it. Oh yeah, I'll be on that roof waving that Louisville slugger. Where are the monkeys? <laughs> Do you watch The Bachelorette? <laughs> Are you a fan of this show? I respectfully and lovingly have only seen it, I want to say three times. Two okay. times I was corralled by a group of um, people that really watch it like fanatical sports uh, people. Mm -hmm. And then, and I didn't, I, I was like, I don't think it's for me, but I came in, I'd watched it one time on my own and I didn't know exactly what I was watching. And I was like, oh, is this, I think this is that show and I've never quite seen it. And this girl was sobbing and sobbing and talking to this guy. And I was like, oh my God, they must live together for years. This is like, <laughs> it's heart. And I really was like, my God, it's heart wrenching. <laughs> and now they're ripping them apart. I didn't know how long they'd been together. And she literally choked out, when I met you earlier tonight, <laughs> I knew. He just clicked, and I was like, are you kidding me? It no. makes a mockery of everything. It oh really does. Oh, my nice. God. I was like, come on. You can get a date an easier way than this. What's the worst date you ever went on before you got married or, or after? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Last night, I had a wonderful date. No. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um, I... How do I... How do I censor this? Um, oh. I, oh, okay. I went on a date with someone, uh, and we'd met at like a rap party the night before. I may have had several drinks. I thought he was wonderful. Um, <laughs> he picked me up at my apartment, and I was like, oh, you know, I thought we, he didn't have any pla place to go. And I'm like, oh, there's a cute place down the block. We could walk there. And we get in there, and he's like, looking, we're looking at like a happy time menu, and he's or like a happy hour menu, and he's like, Oh boy, six dollars for a chicken sandwich. <laughs> six dollars. Six dollars for a chicken sandwich. I can make a chicken sandwich in my house for like two, two dollars, like a dollar seventy-five. But six dollars for a sandwich, and I was like, <laughs> okay. I was like, well, it's only six dollars, and you don't have to have the chicken sandwich. I mean, because if I make it at home, I can get the bread, I can get the chicken. And I'm like, yes, you, you as, a, as a standing rule, you can make cheaper food at home, but this is a bar and somebody's got to make money and it's only $6. <laughs> and by the way, at the time I was working like three jobs, I had probably 
$28 in my bank account. And I was like, if you stop talking about it, I'll pick up the check. Oh, really? Just stop talking about it. And he's like, and then it's like, came to drinks. He's like, oh, man. <laughs> Six twenty-five for, for a drink. I mean, you buy tonic, you go to the store, you put some vodka in it. And I was like, and at this point, I'm just like, I have like six more of whatever I'm having. And we, so we go home. This is still the high point of the day. Oh, they, oh, yeah. really? No, so far I'm like, maybe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was slim pickings for a while. Um, we walk, I'm only like a block from my house. God, I, I wish this was a bit, but it's not. <laughs> and then we get back to my apartment. The, it's not been going well. It's just constant talk of money, even though I'm paying. Uh, <laughs> and we get back, and on the walk, like, as we approach my building, he's like, so... And he's got a backpack. He's like, so I got this thing in my bag. And I was like, oh, God, is it like a club? Are you going to hit me? Like, what the... What's going on? He's like, I got it from this guy at work. It's like a, um, you know, it's this thing. It's in my bag, and, uh, well, it's a ring. And I was like, what? <laughs> I'll just say it's not a ring for your finger. Oh. Or your, oh. oh, he wasn't, he didn't want to Or propose. your toes. <laughs> um, oh, no. I had never, it's my one and only uh, offering of that after a day going terribly. I'm standing on Fairfax, which is a very busy street. And he's got from his friend at work. It's not even new. And he's like, so... Oh, you, know what out, you know how much those cost? You know how much, I mean, <laughs> you want to get a quality. Uh, and I was just like, and then he was like, so I can show you. And I was like, I need you to keep that backpack <laughs> out of your pack. Um, you are never seeing the inside of my apartment. <laughs> this has gone terribly, and thanks. Oh. And I went up the stairs. Wow. And then I met Ben, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Ben really? That was my last date. Really? Yeah. That was wow. my last date. And then I met sweet Ben Falcone, and I was like, I don't care if you hate me, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa McCarthy is here. Her new movie is called <laughs> The Kitchen. Yeah. We'll be right back. Morris, Peter, and Jennifer still in the building? They got picked up early. Oh, do you want me to, should I call? Hello? 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 This is Brennan, Alfonso Coretti. I need you to make a trip to Brooklyn, now. Mrs. Coretti, I can't do that, I can't, I can't find my children. I have your kids, Kathy. That is Melissa McCarthy in the kitchen and in our kitchen as well. This is. Did you say in the kitchen? You are in our kitchen too. In a yeah. kitchen, guys. <laughs> it's um, this is a, a movie, gangster movie. Yeah. You play a gangster, and you're really good in this movie. It's interesting oh. to me when we know you for being funny, and that's like. I know it shouldn't be a surprise. Like, oh, well, she can do this stuff, too. Heart of darkness. Heart of darkness. <laughs> the movie, I don't want to, well, you explain the movie. It's based on a graphic novel, a DC Comics novel, it originally. It's a DC comic. Um, it's Hell's Kitchen, 1970s, which was a really, really rough place. I think I didn't, you know, I was just a kid in the 70s in New York, and it, it seemed, is that really what Hell's Kitchen yeah, we, was like? it was. It's like graffiti and just garbage everywhere, and really, it's like, it was not safe. It just kind of was this, the cops didn't, didn't interfere in things. It was just run by, like, Irish mob, and it was just really, really a dicey, scary place. And you guys had to go and make it filthy and disgusting again. Yes, yes. which was kind of uh, fantastic because we would just destroy these blocks that are now completely like, you know, it's like a Starbucks and a this and a juice right. place and a this. <laughs> and we would come in and just destroy it. And there's like hookers laying all over, all over the place and garbage and people fighting. And then somebody, and it was always somebody on their phone so it was kind of enjoyable, who was like all dressed up and like coming around the corner that wouldn't listen to the person that's like, hang on, hang on, we're filming. And then you'd see them come around the corner and they'd be like, oh God, oh God. <laughs> and I could tell in their head, they're like, I just bought an apartment for $2 million, it's the size of my bed. Like you just saw the wheels of like, oh! And 
we'd just be like, and like, and then we'd, you know, yell at them like, "We're just filming. Everything will be fine." <laughs> That's a nice but little you, prank. Oh my god, it kind of, it happened like four times, like pretty severely, and they were so freaked out that it like took a minute to be like, "Hey, hey." We're talking to you. Everything's fine. Yeah, really? He's just like looking at a hooker. There's a guy with a knife, and they just be like freaking out. It's a great cast. The, the central three characters, you, Elizabeth Moss, and yeah. Tiffany Haddish, which um, it, it, Elizabeth Moss does a lot of serious stuff, but she's very funny. Obviously. She's so funny. I don't know what I expected. I mean, I thought she'd come in in like a cloak reading Chaucer and just be like. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's super, super funny. And I'm just like. And then it's Tiffany right. is ridiculous. Like, uh, oh my God, there is no, literally whatever chip the filter is in is gone. Yeah, <laughs> gone. Was she Just yeah. yelling yeah. at people? Somebody walked by across the street and she's like, "Are you single?" <laughs> I'm <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. Are you single? I'd be like, "Tiffany, you are <laughs> Tiffany Haddish. You can't just don't shout your number out." <laughs> Maybe you're gonna fix her up with that guy you had the date with, oh. you know? <laughs> the backpack and the whole thing. <laughs> no, I love her too much. You uh, are, in addition to this, you, I've read that you are going to be part of the live action remake of The Little Mermaid. What's that? The Little Mermaid, the Disney. Uh, Disney. Yes, yes. They, from oh. time to time, Disney will take a, a cartoon and they make it into a real thing. I hadn't heard about you that. You hadn't heard that, really. It seems like. <laughs> It seems like it would be an awfully fun thing to do. <laughs> oh, I'd love if Disney gave me a little ringy dingy. Uh, yeah. Wouldn't it be we'll fun? see. <laughs> <laughs> that, if that were to happen, that would be a fun thing, though, huh? Ursula, if, the if villain. If it did, it would be very wonderful. It would be. <laughs> Disney. Do your daughters get excited about you being in a, a movie like that? Is that something that? I mean, mean something to them? Yeah, I mean, every, I feel like everybody has watched that. I weirdly watched that movie. I was a nanny when that first came out. And one of the little girls I was watching, we watched it every single night for about a year and a half. So, no, I'm not kidding at all. I so literally you know was like, it. I know it. I like know it to my <laughs> core. Um, and I weirdly still love it. So I think, I think that might have been the one, if it happens, uh -huh. <laughs> um, that they were like, really? <laughs> Yeah. And then also, I think there's just a little whisper of like, oh, God, don't embarrass me. Oh, yeah, right. Well, the kids always have that, right? Yeah. It's just kind of starting where I'm like, I'm fun. Oh, really? And then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just starting to get a little, especially for my oldest one, like, she's always doing, she's always doing this dance. She'll probably murder me for this, but she's always doing this dance. And then I was with a little kid and he started doing it. And I was like, oh, my daughter does that dance. He goes, you mean Orange Justice? Which I was like, that's, first of all, the best name of a dance or anything, <laughs> anything I've ever heard. I was like, is it really called Orange Justice? <laughs> and it is. Yeah. And so there's, I was doing it with him. And then I showed my daughter the video. And she was just like, I don't know what you think you're doing, but it's not Orange Justice. <laughs> <laughs> and Jerry is six. And Jerry, I was like, Jerry said I was good. She was just like. Jerry said you were good at I know. I was like, Jerry said I was really good at Orange Justice. She goes, Jerry, six. <laughs> we were both in like astronaut uniforms. And I'm like, Orange Justice. And I just kept saying it. Yeah. Well, it's great to see you. The movie, you too. it's called The Kitchen. It opens kitchen, August guys. 9th. Melissa McCarthy, everybody. Thank you, Melissa. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.